Love, laughter, tears, sadness and happiness. Classic theme song lyrics. And it was the stuff Australia's favourite 80s soap opera was made of. I don't love you, I never did. You have cancer. You mustn't die. He's dead. Sons and Daughters, it produced the nation's favourite villain, Pat the Rat, first played by Rowena Wallace before Belinda Giblin added to the drama. All right. If Patricia's that unsavoury, I make a much better topic of conversation. A household name and sex symbol of the 70s and 80s, Belinda Giblin's career on the stage and screen has spanned more than four decades. And Belinda joins us now. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Lovely to be here. You were on the small screen during the golden era of TV. For you, what was, I guess, the most memorable experience of that time? It's very funny. You just played a, a clip of me with a snake. I just got bitten by a snake. And I remember a commentator at the time, a critic, a television critic, saying, if, it, if there were to be an Oscar, I would give the Oscar to the snake. Oh, <laughs> oh that's I, a bit I, harsh. Yeah, and that clip, strangely enough, is the one you've used. Oh. Um, I loved that whole period. It was great fun. It was a, a fun time of television. I worked, I worked for Crawford Productions in Melbourne for 12 years straight. And, I mean, that didn't happen. Mm. Oh, it doesn't happen now, but, but the, the, uh, Hector Crawford had so many shows on the boil. I think I went from the box... I, I started with Matlock in black and white. Yeah. Matlock, Homicide, Divi 4. Oh. Then we went Colour, <laughs> <laughs> the box. Uh, Sullivan, Skyways, Cop Shop, Bluey. We just went from one show to the next. Yeah. And it was, it, it was a really wonderful period and of course Hector Crawford was so sort of avuncular and caring and it was just a, a lovely lovely time to be doing you were surrounded by the likes of Graham Kennedy Jackie Weaver Graham Blundell Judy Nunn were you all friends or was yes. it all quite competitive no it was competitive but we were friends and it's this is a competitive business so uh, it's a sort of mix of schadenfreude and great <laughs> friendship, you know? uh, I think we all understand it and I think, uh, no, no, look, we're mates. I think if it, the, the sort of trick of this game of showbiz is how long you can endure, I think. How long you can stick it and I think uh, you've got to be able to be pretty tough yeah. and, and competitive. Um, but, you know, we, we love it and so it's them are mates mm. yeah. and it's a, it's a family really. You were brought on in the role of Alison Carr on Sons and Daughters, mm. which was a replacement for Rowena Wallace's role. Mm. What did it feel like to, I guess, step into Rowena's shoes? Uh, well, Rowena by this stage had won, what, two gold logies <laughs> or three. Uh, and she was wonderful. I, I used to watch her and I thought she was absolutely fantastic. And when she left the show, they asked me if I would replace her uh, and come back as Pat the Rat with, with surgery in Rio. <laughs> and I, th I was... Oh, there she is. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, God, what we got away with. It's a great um, storyline. <laughs> Anyway, I came back two inches shorter, looking vaguely the same but different. And the reason I think they cast me was they felt that we had similar eyes. Uh, and it was a great idea. And I kept saying no, and they kept saying yes, but I think what a great idea it is. And then they made it very attractive. And I said yes. And I just loved the two years in Sons and Daughters was, mm. was a, a wonderful wonderful time. Belinda, last year you starred in a one-woman show, Blonde Poison. Tell us about it and how come you're doing it again? Uh, well, um, Adam Lieberman, the producer, came to me with the script for... Oh, there I am, looking slightly different. Um, it's a very dramatic role. It is a gift for any actor and Adam Lieberman, the producer, had found this product when he was in Poland, uh, doing a tour of, I think, camps. Uh, set in World War II, Stella Goldschlag, a real person who was uh, Jewish, um, 18, uh, around the time of World War II. And she was going to be sent to Auschwitz with her parents. Of course, she was Jewish, but she was blonde and blue-eyed and looked German, didn't look at all Jewish. Mm. And the Gestapo said, 
uh, we will stop your parents and yourself from going to Auschwitz if you work for us as a catcher. That is, she pointed out other Jews and they were oh. taken off. So oh. she was a, an evil woman. And the play is really about survival. Um, she survived till she was 71 and the play takes place when she is 71, awaiting the arrival of a journalist about to question her about her involvement in the war. And, um, but it, the, the play poses the question, what would you have done? Yeah, it's a for selfish sure. choice. Yeah. You, you want to survive, you're going to Auschwitz, yeah. Yeah. or you work for us. And she, she, it's, more than anything, it's not a Holocaust play. It's not, you're not going to come and go, oh, how depressing. Uh, it is depressing, but it's more of a character study about what is it, what is the deprivation, the incarceration, the torture that makes people behave in a certain way or make the choices that they, they choose. And mm. she was flamboyant in her survival. Mm. She was courageous. A truly incredible story. Fabulous. And, and utterly authentically written, beautifully written to the point where it's, um, it's visceral. You know, right. I, I believe every second of the play. So, Thank and you. that's saying something for us. Thanks. Thank Belinda. you, Belinda. Thank you. Lovely to talk to you. All Thank the very you. best with the play. Thank you. Jennifer Hagen directed it, by the way, herself. Wonderful actress, brilliant actress. And just finished in Secret River, so she's Great. A, a gift as well. We'll let everybody know all about it. Blonde Poison yes. kicks off in Sydney tomorrow before heading to Melbourne in June. For all the information, please just head over to our website.